see this today we are going to discuss 24 mark problem in bank companies account so till now we have discussed 6 mark problem and 12 mark problem now let us see 24 mark problem see this first we will discuss problem number 8 the following Yes, problem number 7 we will discuss first. See this. The following is the trail balance of The following is the trail balance of Lakshmi Bank Limited. Prepare profit and loss account and balance sheet in the prescribed form. So here you need to prepare both balance sheet as well as profit and loss account. So one by one we need to discuss the items here whatever the items given in the trail balance we need to see that here so now let us discuss one by one first one share capital you see here first information given here share capital share capital comes under schedule number one in balance sheet schedule number one you need to write share capital information so there you can enter this information directly 1 crore 15 lakh rupees then there is statutory reserve information that is also 1 crore 15 lakh rupees so this 1 crore 15 lakh rupees statutory reserve you can show under reserves and surplus that is schedule number 2 so there you can show reserves and surplus, balance carried over to balance sheet, uh, any other capital reserve. So all these informations can be shown in schedule number 2 of the balance sheet. So now after knowing share capital and reserves and surplus, now next thing we need to see here, saving bank account. See this? Next information here they have mentioned you regarding saving bank account. Saving bank account uh, where it comes. So here they have mentioned trail balance of the bank. So uh, you can consider this under deposit. Deposit we know uh, that is schedule number 3 is their deposit. So here you can consider saving bank account, RD account, current account. All this information you can consider under schedule number 3. Then demand draft, see this, demand draft is given here. So this we have to see where you are going to consider demand draft, whether it comes under loans and advances, demand draft that we need to see. Then rebate on bills discounted, rebate on bills discounted date they have mentioned 1-4-2015. So this is the rebate on bills discounted calculated at the end of the previous year that means the uh, bills discounted rebate on bills discounted given in the trail balance that belongs to this particular year that means it belongs to the present year so that you have to consider present year you need to add and next year information you need to deduct if there is any then interest and discount credit side balance interest and discount credit side balance is given 1 crore 44 lakh so this is nothing but schedule number 13 so under p and account under first part income there is one uh, schedule number 13 interest earned by the bank so there you can write this information interest earned interest and discount credit balance commission and exchange that is 18 lakh rupees so this is nothing but other income see this this is other income schedule number 14 locker rent so again you can consider this as other income cash certificate what about cash certificate you can consider this under deposits that is uh, uh, schedule number three so what is cash certificate here so cash certificate is the certificate purchased by the customer by giving certain prescribed amount of money and which is to be paid back by the customer either quarterly or on the monthly basis so that is known as a cash certificate so it is a facility given by the bank so you can consider this under deposit similarly saving bank account also facility given by the bank recurring de deposit account also facility given by the bank to the customer then travelers check so travelers check we know it is a check with a denomination or it is a check in which a, a denomination is printed so let us assume that it is a thousand rupees check that uh, thousand rupees printed on that particular check so here uh, this this you can consider as other liabilities and provision 
travelers check is other liabilities and provision schedule number 5 similarly provident fund is there now provident fund information so this we have to see now provident fund where it comes that we need to discuss uh, while solving the problem then interest on pf investment so in this problem interest on pf investment right so here investment made by the bank in pf account provident fund account so interest earned by the bank so this is a one kind of other income you can say so investment is there that is schedule number eight a provident fund investment so with that investment uh, bank is getting the interest interest on pf investment that is one lakh rupee so this you can show under schedule number 14 then income tax deducted at source from employee's salary so income tax we know one is provision if provision is mentioned provision you have to consider in pnl account then income tax you can consider under other liabilities and provision that is uh, schedule number five in the balance sheet schedule number five you have to consider this then fixed deposit fixed deposit that comes under deposit schedule number three current account that comes under deposit schedule number three 45 lakh fixed deposit is one crore 12 lakh rupees then we need to discuss regarding silver so uh, there may be some uh, sometimes they will give you in the question gold gold you can consider it as investment of the bank gold is investment for the bank similarly silver you can consider it as other asset other asset you can consider or non banking asset you can consider so in the case of non banking asset it is schedule number 11 schedule number 11 non banking asset silver information you need to write there so then after this there is cash in hand cash in hand very simple schedule number six then cash with rbi if it is given that is also schedule number six pf investment it is investment made by the bank so under investment schedule number eight you can write this government security investment made by the bank in government security schedule number eight buildings building is fixed asset schedule number 10 so schedule number 10 you can consider building then if there is any depreciation that you have it from the building so here depreciation on building is mentioned so that is given within the trail balance so that you can consider then uh, bad debts bad debts given so it is uh, provisions any bad debts given uh, you can consider it under uh, p and l provisions contingency there you can consider then from loans and advance of course you need to deduct this bad debt information that is schedule number nine then loans and advance so again uh, schedule number nine cash credit overdraft schedule number nine furniture schedule number 10 gold schedule number eight stock of stationery schedule number 11 so stock of stationery uh, you can consider it as other asset other asset so you can consider it under schedule number 11 balance with hdfc bank so it is balance with other see this balance with hdfc bank is nothing but balance with other bank schedule number seven schedule number six is cash in hand schedule number seven cash at bank so balance with other bank schedule number seven hd bank balance you need to consider bills purchased so that is schedule number nine interest on deposit so uh, for the deposit bank is paying the interest so schedule number 15 schedule number 15 interest expended there you have to show this information salary operating expenses schedule number 16 contribution to pf provident fund it is also one kind of expenses how there is a other income is there schedule number 14 other expenses you can consider under schedule number 16 or you can consider it under operating expenses so here uh, we will consider this contribution to provident fund as operating or other expenses of the bank since a uh, bank is uh, keeping uh, uh, investment in provident fund interest earned will uh, treat it as other income so now after going through this trail balance next thing we have to see uh, adjustments additional information given here some of the additional information see these six adjustments are there so first one bills for collection bills for collection are 12 lakh rupees on 31 3 2016 so this is nothing but footnote to the balance sheet after preparing the balance sheet you can write this separately as a footnote bills for collection depreciation on building increased up to 10 percent so here we have to do working note for building so that we, we need to calculate separate working note then average due date for all bills discounted 
is 12th June 2016. The average discount is 10% per annum. So, how uh, we solved for six problem a uh, calculation of rebate on bills discounted same procedure we need to apply here for this adjustment so that we need to see again this is one more working note you have to do then travelers check paid amounted to 20,000 travelers check amount is given other liabilities and provision so from that you have to deduct the paid amount travelers check paid liability reduced you have to deduct then from the cash in hand balance also you have to deduct this travelers check paid amount so two way deduction is there one is schedule number C, one is schedule number 5. Schedule number 5 and schedule number 6, you have to deduct this traveler's check amount. Then claim of 45,000 for bonus to worker is a pending reward. So this you can consider as contingent liability. Contingent liability that is schedule number 12. So it may happen or may not happen depending upon future uncertain event. So uh, uh, such uh, events are known as contingent liability. So here this uh, this you can take that as a contingent liability. Uh, that is claim of rupees 45,000 for bonus to worker. Then transfer 20% to Shaster Reserve that we need to see while so, uh, solving profit and loss account. Yes. So after discussing this problem. Now first thing we have to do here working note for depreciation. Depreciation on building we have to do working note. Why? Because there is depreciation on building and in the trail balance one information they have already given. Then again they have said 10% we need to take on building. So how we are going to calculate here first we want what is the book value of building. Book value of the building after depreciation given in the trail balance. What is the amount? Building amount we need to search here now in the trail balance. If you see here, somewhere it is mentioned. See this. 56,92,700 is a building amount given in the trail balance. This is after depreciation. Why it is after depreciation? Because depreciation on building is also given in the trail balance. So now we want building value before depreciation value given in the trail balance is after depreciation we want the value before depreciation so how to get that you need to add to the book value of the building depreciation amount given in the trail balance so you will get building book value before depreciation so now if you see here see this book value of the building 56 lakh 92000 add depreciation already charged that is given just below the building in the trail balance 4,10,300. Now we got book value before depreciation that is 56,92,000 plus 4,10,300 if you do you will get book value before depreciation as 61,3,000. So now on this amount you have to see adjustment depreciation on building increased up to 10% that means on this amount you have to take 10% depreciation. So now depreciation at the rate of 10% amounts to 6,10,300 that is nothing but 61,3000 into 10% you will get 6,10,300. Now after doing this, this depreciation you can consider it as operating expense. Operating expense or under schedule number 16 you can consider depreciation depreciation on uh, uh, business property or banking property so it is uh, uh, schedule number 16 see this now 6,10,300 shown as depreciation on building in schedule number 16 then remaining value after depreciation that is 54,92,700 that is 61,3000 minus 6,10,300 is the value of the building in schedule number 10. So schedule number 10 is fixed asset there you have to write the value after depreciation that to the depreciation percentage given in the adjustment. So we know whatever the information given in the adjustment has to appear twice. Twice it has to appear. So that is why once you have to consider it under schedule number 16 and one more time you have to consider in schedule number 10. So this is regarding depreciation on building. Then after this we need to calculate the working note for rebate on bills discounted. So rebate on bills discounted what they have given in the adjustment average due date of the bills discounted is 12th June and the average discount rate is 10% per annum. Now we want bills discounted 
we have to search here in the trail balance where they have mentioned bills discounted information if you see here they have not given you directly bills discounted information but we have bills purchased see this bills purchased value we have that is 10 lakh rupees so on this amount you can easily calculate rebate on bills discounted so now bills discounted we know 10 lakh rupees so 10 lakh rupee into 10 lakh rupees into 10 percent is a rate of discount into number of days see that number of days we have to calculate so we know that this rebate on bills discounted is nothing but interest received but it is not earned yet to be earned it is unexpired discount so we know that it starts at the end of the financial year so when the financial year ends 31st 3 2015 or 2016 so from after that date we need to calculate so april month is there may month is there and june till june 12 so there is 30 days in april may 31 days and june 12 days 30 plus 31 plus 12 that is 73 days so 73 days uh, uh, that amount doesn't belong to this present financial year or current financial year so that is why this you need to calculate separately so 10 lakh into 10 percent into 73 divided by 365 so value of the rebate on bills discounted is 20,000 rupees. So now this 20,000 rupees, what do you have to do? So this 20,000 rupees, you can deduct it under schedule number 13. That is interest earned, interest earned by the bank. There you can deduct this information. Then note number three, that is for traveler's check. Travelers check paid 20,000 should be deducted from travelers check payable in schedule number 5 That is nothing but other liabilities Travelers check from there you have to deduct then again it has to be deducted from cash in hand in schedule number 6 So this is very clear it is given in the note also So now after doing these three uh, additional working note Next we have to prepare schedules to profit and loss account or we have to see here uh, working notes to profit and loss account here we know that total four uh, schedules are there for profit and loss account 13 14 15 16 so now one by one we'll see first schedule number 13 we have to discuss so now schedule number 13 interest and discount earned by the bank given in the trail balance 1 crore 44 lakh that is given if you see here in the trail balance they have mentioned you interest and discount how we know that is earned by the bank because it is credit side balance it is a credit balance that is why it is earned by the bank so uh, that we need to consider here then add rebate on bills at the beginning of the financial year so at the beginning of the financial year is given in the trail balance that we have to add that is nothing but present year rebate on bills 2,90,000 so once you add this you will get 1 crore 46 lakh 90 thousand rupees less rebate on bills at the end of the financial year so these bills belong to next year so that is why we are going to deduct it so that is nothing but working note we have done here 20 thousand rupees so 20 thousand rupees you need to deduct so now final balance of schedule number 13 is 1 crore 46 lakh 70 thousand so now schedule number 13 is over so now next thing we have to see schedule number 14 schedule number 14 that is other income earned by the bank other income you can consider commission and exchange that is other income so that is 18 lakh given in the trail balance lockers rent lockers rent in the sense if customer keeps uh, anything uh, in the locker uh, suppose gold or any other documents in banks locker they need to pay charges to the bank so it is one kind of other source of income to the bank so that is why uh, lockers rent you can consider under schedule number 14 that is 1 lakh rupee given in the trail balance then interest on pf investment interest on provident fund investment is other income to the bank why because here in this problem we will assume that bank has made investment in provident fund 
so that is why interest earned from those provident fund we will treat it as schedule number 14 that is 1 lakh rupee so now schedule number 14 total 18 plus 1 lakh plus 1 lakh that is 20 lakh rupee that is regarding schedule number 14 next schedule number 15 we have to see that is regarding interest on deposits interest on deposit why we have taken under schedule number 15 so if you see here interest on deposit we need to search in the trail balance where it is given interest on deposit we have to search here see this yes just below the bills purchase they have given you interest on deposit 60 lakh rupees so here on the deposits made by the customer bank is going to pay the interest so it is expense to the bank that is why we need to consider this under schedule number 15 that is nothing but interest spended by the bank so schedule number 15 we know interest on deposit only one information 60 lakh rupees next thing schedule number 16 schedule number 16 is nothing but operating expenses of the bank and other expenses of the bank so now if you see the trail balance what and all information